from lakes of liquid methane on one of Saturn's moons to parallel universes. Here are 11 strange mysteries of outer space. Number 11, water on Europa. Until recently, we've always assumed that planet Earth was the only place in our solar system with liquid water. But could there be other places? The answer is clearly yes, with two of Jupiter's moons having liquid water beneath the surface of the crust. If that wasn't shocking enough, in the case of Europa, the ocean could be twice the size of Earth. As of right now, most of the water that we know is still in the form of ice. So finding a liquid ocean cannot be only a remarkable discovery, but could lead to finding life outside of planet Earth. Imagine Europa's crust like a large sheet of ice over liquid water. Although more advancements are needed to actually explore this body of water, scientists seem to think this could be a possible place bacterial life could survive outside of Earth. Number 10, Ice Geysers. Many natural phenomena occur in our solar system that may shock you. Geysers are made of boiling water. On the moon Triton, however, geysers are made of boiling nitrogen. Who said volcanoes only have to shoot out lava and fire? Imagine the complete opposite image of a volcano shooting out ice. On one of Neptune's moons, Triton, near its south pole, the Voyager satellite had spotted a volcano that shoots out liquid nitrogen, then turns it to ice. Liquid nitrogen on Earth has the ability to turn just about anything into ice. This is one of the coldest surfaces in our solar system. At roughly negative 240 degrees Celsius, it approaches absolute zero where all other movements stop, except for the ice geysers. What appears to be black smudges on Triton turns out to be a mixture of nitrogen and moon dust from the volcanoes. Once this happens, a towering cloud of these materials shoots upwards about 5 miles into the sky. Number 9. Liquid Water on Mars On September 28, 2015, NASA finally confirmed that liquid water does flow on today's Mars. Thanks to the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, these 100-meter-long streaks that flow downhill are formed from contemporary flowing water, according to NASA. This image doesn't show Mars' true colors, but it was produced using infrared enhancement to make it easier to see. These appear on several different locations on Mars during warmer seasons. It makes you wonder how much of Mars was once covered in this ingredient essential for life, and if anything could have existed, or still possibly does. Mars' equator can reach up to 70 degrees Fahrenheit during a day in the summer. So these are temporary streams that basically form in warmer parts of Mars. Many scientists are willing to admit that there's water on Mars, but are still firm with their stance on lack of possible life ever being there. To this day, everyone is still very curious if there was once possibly life here. Number 8. Mars Stonehenge Alien enthusiasts claim to have spotted quite a few bizarre images on Mars after the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter began sending images to Earth. There's something on this planet that looks similar to a Neolithic site found at Stonehenge on this planet. This was dubbed as Marshenge, but UFO enthusiasts and astronomers are fairly certain it's just a rock formation. But if you take a closer look, the stones seem to have square and circular formations that are somewhat similar to the Stonehenge we see on Earth. The Reconnaissance Orbiter has sent back many images to Earth. There have been quite a few strange images that have sparked debate. Other things such as the Mars Crab, a pyramid, and other unseemly natural formations seem to show up here. It's definitely worth noting, and we encourage you to do some of your own research for you to come up with your own conclusions. Number 7. Titan this large moon that orbits Saturn contains a surface which is full of liquid methane and ethane, and many have not ruled out the possibility of life here. Although it's far colder than Earth, some believe that the oceans of liquid methane could actually replace water in some ways and be enough to support life on this moon. Who's saying liquid water is what's needed anyways? If somehow organisms could survive in these conditions, you better believe they will look something completely different than humans. While the surface temperature there might be something like negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit, this could be too cold for life that we're familiar with. But during an experiment, a cell membrane was modeled that would theoretically be able to survive in liquid methane that we see in this photo. Number 6. Black Holes a black hole is a place in our universe that pulls so much gravity that even light cannot escape it, according to NASA. The matter has been squeezed into a tiny place, causing an intense gravitational pull. What would happen to Earth if somehow we got sucked into a black hole? 
This still remains a huge mystery. Is there a possibility this thing could destroy us? NASA seems to think not, or at least not in our solar system. But recently, in 2016, astronomers found this black hole devouring everything that it came into contact with 200 million light years away. So that's still pretty far, but they could certainly be more common than we once thought. So what would it be like if this happened in our galaxy to our beloved Earth? The strong gravitational pull would first send off enormous meteor showers that would each have similar devastation to atomic bombs showering our planet. The moon would certainly explode from all this and we'd be able to see it on Earth. Although we know black holes exist, eventually we'd be sucked into the giant black hole, but some are a little bit unsure of whether or not it will cause complete destruction of our planet or possibly bring us to a parallel universe. Number 5. Parallel Universes this theory is a little bit crazy, so try to follow me here. Our universe is so vast, so incomprehensibly large, that we just don't know what the heck is really out there. The Hubble telescope can only see galaxies 13 billion light years away. Planet Earth revolves around the sun, which is a star. There are over 100 billion solar masses in our galaxy alone, contain anywhere from 200 to 400 billion planets. It seems quite reasonable that somewhere in our solar system, there's another galaxy extremely similar to ours down to the point where there's even a solar system just like ours with nine planets and an Earth-like planet third from the sun. With new theories emerging that our universe is infinite, there has to be at least one copy of the solar system somewhere, right? Hypothetically, the solar system is so similar to ours in this parallel world that even the world history is similar to ours. Just like our solar system being recreated, so are the DNA molecules throughout the universe. It's possible there could be a copy of me, you, and everyone out there on this unexplorable planet. Maybe in this parallel universe, American Eye talks about how the zombie apocalypse could never happen? We don't know the existence of such a place just yet. It would certainly be a world you don't want to live in. Someone who looks just like you could be on a world far, far away. This is just one version of a parallel universe, and there are many theories to how parallel universes may exist. Number 4. The Shape of the Universe if you want to start a debate with some space nerds, here's a good question to ask them. Many are quite certain that the universe is infinite. There are many theories as well to the shape of how the universe expands, and it's tough to know for sure. Some claim it's an infinitely expanding sphere, kind of like a balloon that never pops. Some think it might be flat, others claim there's a positive curvature, while others think there's a negative curvature. Then there's other people who don't think the universe is infinite. Scientists wanting to put an end to this never-ending debate shot a series of lasers into space and made a giant right triangle. The angles seem to show that the universe is flat on large scales. If the universe expanded like a tabletop or in a flat formation, then this would contradict the Big Bang Theory. Any flat universers out there want to explain? Michio Kaku still remains skeptical and feels that the universe is so large that it just seems flat. Number 3. Dark Matter Around Earth what exactly dark matter is, is still very much of a mystery that NASA scientists would love to know the answer about. They know it's there because of how it affected the expansion of the universe, and it turns out that it makes up 68% of our universe. It helps to keep galaxies and solar systems from flying apart. Gary Prezo of NASA's Jet Propulsion Lab theorizes that long strains of this dark mysterious substance protrudes from Earth like you see in this illustration. Albert Einstein was the first to realize that the darkness in space isn't just completely empty space. As of right now, it's easier to say what dark matter isn't than what it truly is. This means it's not from stars or planets, not a dark cloud, not antimatter, and not black holes that we've seen throughout our galaxy. It's believed that this matter is cold and doesn't move around often enough to create any heat. Number 2. Dark Energy This might sound like a type of energy harvested by some kind of supervillain, but it's all too real. Kind of like dark matter, there's really more we don't know about dark energy than we do know, but it definitely exists. This is an unknown force that seems to be existent throughout the universe and helps with its expansion. It seems to resist all gravity and is driving galaxies apart, creating space. Dark matter and dark energy make up about 96% of our universe. Some believe that dark energy has the capability to completely destroy all the universe. Dark energy itself contributes 68.3% of the total energy in the observable universe. This energy is what creates massive voids in space where nothing is found. No galaxies, no planets, asteroids, nothing, just a giant void. This is concerning because the universe is expanding faster than it was before in the past. This also means that more distant galaxies are moving far away faster than closer galaxies. More and more space continues to be created by this unknown force. 
and number one, the explosion of stars. It would seem to make more sense for stars to just fizzle out when they're out of energy and just become some kind of ball of gas in our universe. But that's not the case. In fact, exactly the opposite happens, and during the end of their lives, they leave the universe with a bang. A supernova is an astronomical event that happens during the final stages of a massive star's life. What basically happens is a catastrophic and dramatic explosion. Many supernova explosions do happen, but we're lucky to be far away enough to not be affected. But some supernovae could be close enough to destroy our ozone layer and send catastrophic levels of radiation into our atmosphere. Scientists haven't really understood too well how these explosions take place, and no one knows what will set off a supernovae explosion exactly. Supernova explosions happen about every 100 years, and there is a star called Betelgeuse that is near the end of its life. It also has been acting kind of strange lately, so watch out. 